Welcome friends. We are your hosts, Sandy and Wade, baby best friends turned husband and wife and business partners. This podcast is for the dreamers, the movers and shakers, and those who seek to attract their dream life. Strap in, getting magnetic in three, two, one. Like attracts like. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. This moment in time, this is your time to rise. Consistency is what transforms the average into excellent. I think people think greatness and success is some esoteric thing that You know, these great entrepreneurs or these successful people or these movie stars or sports stars that they were born with. They were born with some excellent, successful gene, genetic component, right? It's not the case. It's not the case. In studying successful people and successful entrepreneurs, you realize it comes down to consistency. It comes down to the small steps you take every single day. And that's what leads to greatness. I think people think, you know, especially this day and age, you see entrepreneurs, you see it on social media, it's glorified. It's the jets and the cars and the Lamborghinis and people sitting on the Lambos. And you think it's these like, oh, I got to take giant leaps day in, day out. I got to make these big, huge leaps. What you realize is most people, no, you're not ready for huge leaps. And success isn't huge leaps every once in a while. There might be a big, big movement, but it's small steps every day. That's what sets you up for opportunity. That's what sets you up for those big life-changing events and life-changing opportunities. Because guess what? Successful entrepreneurs, they don't wait for opportunity. They aren't like, oh, I'm sitting here, I'm praying, I'm manifesting, I'm law of attractioning, just waiting for my opportunity to show up on my door. No, they go out and create it. They open their mind to it, and then they see it everywhere. They open their eyes to opportunity and see opportunity everywhere they go. And Tony Robbins said, I love this quote, coming back to consistency. That's what we're rounding out this series this week. This is the end of the Elevate the Entrepreneur in You series. And today's episode is consistency. We've talked about it before on this podcast, but it's of the utmost importance because it's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives. It's what we do consistently. Tony Robbins said it, when our shoulds become our musts, our whole life changes. So are you an entrepreneur that is waiting for your opportunity, waiting for that person to join your team, waiting for you know your mentor or your upline to come and, and rattle you up and, and guide you, waiting for someone yeah, to join your business, waiting for opportunity to come to your door? Or are you like, I'm going to go create it? Because These great entrepreneurs, what it's about, success, greatness, everything, it's winning in the dark. It's winning in the dark day in, day out consistently. Are you tracking what you're doing? What you track grows. Do you have a system? What are your habits? If anyone hasn't read Atomic Habits by James Clear, absolutely incredible book. He goes into the science of habits and you realize our life is made up of what we do consistently day in, day out. Your health is made up of the consistent choices you make day in, day out, whether it's your diet, your exercise, your sleep, your relationships, whatever it is. Your marriage, your relationship is a product of what you do day in, day out towards it. It's not what you do on Valentine's Day. It's not what you do on your anniversary. It's what you do day in, day out. And, you know, our society has set up all these holidays of Valentine's Day and all the things and it's been commercialized. And what you realize these, you look around those successful marriages, those successful entrepreneurs, success in any realm, right? The success principles, they apply across everything. It's not like what works in entrepreneurship doesn't work in your marriage or your health. No, it's the same thing. People are always looking for those tips and tricks and strategies and magic pill to health. And no, it's the same principles applied across everything. And what it comes down to is consistency, small steps every day. So evaluate, what do I do every day to, we talked vision, we talked big picture, we talked goal setting. Now evaluate, what do you do day in, day out to move yourself towards that? Do you wake up and like hope you you work towards your dreams or do you have a plan of action? Do you're like, you know what? I, at a very minimum, here's my non-negotiables. Here's what I do every day. 
in our business, Sandy and I literally created our system and published it and our, the 90 day habits journal, because that was our system. That is our daily non-negotiable. So decide in your business, what do you commit to every day? Now it's not like these, this crazy big leaps, take small steps, just take them every day. I want you, uh, let's, let's pause here in the consistency, you know, spiel. And I want you to ask yourself, if you're in a team or if you're a network marketer, let's, let's focus there. Ask yourself, would you join your team? We talked about our ideal teammate or client. Let's say you have this ideal teammate that's a rock star, that's a natural born leader that is bound to make a big impact in the world. And you're like, oh man, I'd love for them to be on, on my team. Would they want to join your team? Are you the leader that is attracting epic leaders? Would you join your team? You get to, you know what you do day in, day out. You know it. Characters built when no one's watching, right? So are great entrepreneurs. They're built in the dark. Your business, your dream is built daily in the dark. That's really what it's all about. So ask yourself, would you join your team? If, if you gave yourself a report card every day, what if you evaluated what you did every single day? At the end of the day, you evaluated it. Because what you track grows. When you start to track that, we call them the income producing activities over here. When you track those, you realize, whoa, I thought about my business a lot. I did the like administrative stuff. Did I do what's most important? Did I do the income producing activities? Did I make the calls, the connections? Did I do the hard things? As an entrepreneur, w ask yourself, would you invest in you and your business? You're an entrepreneur, you have a business. Would you invest in you? As an outside investor looking in, if they got an inside scoop day in, day out to what you do, would you invest in you? Let's say you have a business and, and you're hiring employees or just think of yourself as an employee of, of your business. Would you pay yourself? How much would you pay yourself? What are you worth? What is your value? Guess what? All of these answers, it lies in your daily habits. And what's great about entrepreneurship, it's not just making the sales calls. It's what do you do to grow yourself every day? Do you have affirmations? Do you have a morning routine? Do you meditate? Do you have a gratitude journal? That's, that's what we do over here. But what do you do? How do you fill your cup? How do you prime your mind, body, brain? Are you in peak health and physical condition? Because when you are, when you're healthy and you're thriving and you're vital and you're exercising and you're, you're eating clean, like you feel on top of the world and you're, guess what? You're a way better entrepreneur. So what are your habits? Characters built when no one's watching. Build your dream in the dark because guess what? The dream is in the failures. It's in the dark. It's in the trials and tribulations. It's in the journey. It's not the end result. It's in those little small steps every single day. Sandy and I are getting used to parenthood and I realize the dream isn't like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so awesome when Cam is just smiling at me and we're playing and walking. Like I the dream isn't fast forwarding to that moment. The dream is in every single day. And a part of that, the dream is when Cam is fussy and I'm trying to put her down for a nap and it's really hard and it's annoying and it's all the things like the dream is in that. I look back on our business. The dream was in going for it so many times before we reached our goal and failing and falling short and learning because guess what? We became the people, became the entrepreneurs that had that business, that hit the goal. We had to become the people first. The only constant you're ever going to have in life, in business, is change. When you can accept that, it's liberating. Let me repeat that. The only constant in life is change. We think we're going to get to this point. Oh, financial freedom. If I could just be making this amount per month, or if my business could be doing this, or if I hit this level, all would be well. I could just be coasting, I'd be riding, life would be easy, it'd be comfortable. <laughs> nope. For anyone in the same business as Sandy and I, we're at the, there's nowhere else to go. There's no, we're at the top level. There's nowhere to go. I'm here to tell you, you don't just get there and life is just easy and you just coast along. No, no, not even close. Life continues to change because the only constant in life is change. Where? Can we provide security in our life and safety and comfort in our daily habits? Come back to it. What are your non-negotiables? Call to action. Evaluate your daily non-negotiables. What are they, particularly in your business, but also in your personal growth, in your health, in your marriage, because all these things add up. When you're in a loving relationship and you're healthy and vital, you approach your business differently. When you have goals, when you have direction, 
when you feel good, you feel that self-confidence, you approach your business differently. Guess what gives you confidence? What you do every single day. That's what adds up to where you want to be. I'm excited for Friday. Last episode. Catch you then. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. So remember, you are magnetic. Magnetic.